How would you describe the restaurant, Chef? I'd describe it as a, a restaurant open to everyone, but with a little bit of a clubby feel. So, sure. you know, it's holding on to tradition, but also trying to grasp onto the modern things as well, rather than just staying with the traditional stuff. Yeah. So. What are you bringing to the, um, to the menu, Chef? What is it that inspires you? Well, I'd, I'd like to think I'm, I'm bringing a more modern approach to the menu mm -hmm. uh, while clutching onto the traditional stuff, but yeah. also being able to uh, give the chefs a chance to try new methods, new interesting techniques and new ingredients, and hopefully giving a bit of variety to the regulars and trying to entice them away from the, uh, <laughs> the, the old standard classics. Yeah. We've got the crab salad, which is a, uh, it's been on the menu for quite a long time. Bangers and mash, fish and chips, all these sure. kind of standards that really we can't do without. Mm -hmm. um, we've introduced recently a more modern dish, which is the heritage tomato salad mm -hmm. with burrata and basil and a Cabernet Sauvignon vinegar. So that's, you know, very light starter. Most of what we sell is fish. Um, that sort of happened by accident, really. It wasn't the intention, I don't think, with right. the, the place. But I guess people came back here because we were doing the fish well. Sure. So, um, and then in game season, which it's not yet, but you know, during September to February, we have a lot of game, grouse and pheasants and things like that. Again, okay, tradition. <laughs> Again, tradition, yep. Oysters, of course. It's yeah. an oyster bar. Well, it's very cosy, isn't it? With the cubicles you've got there, you've got privacy. Exactly. So you yeah. can have a conversation, but you do have the atmosphere of everyone around you. As so. well, that's right. Uh, how many have you got in your team in the kitchen? Uh, there is 11 of us in total. Right. Well, I saw lots of glasses of champagne being drunk, uh, <laughs> drunk earlier. Yes. Um, it's a big seller here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we uh, do sell a lot of the LP, yeah. I guess it fits in with the district, with the art galleries and with the... Uh, the wealthy brokers, art brokers around here. And, and oysters, of course. Yeah. You know, oysters and champagne, you can't go wrong there, really. So. Got some lovely Dorset scallops here. One, two, three. Um, and we're going to serve that with a crab mayonnaise, uh -huh. um, a little bit of uh, parsley aioli, some keta caviar, and uh, red vein sorrel. Excellent. Okay. We always use hand dive scallops. Yeah. Go. So I'm just going to prep for you. On your menu here? Yeah, one of the biggest starter sellers we have, actually. Yeah. We go through a lot of crab, crab. as well. Yeah, because yeah. all of our crab that we get in is um, all live, so we hand pick it ourselves, cook it and hand pick it. Yeah. Because um, a lot of restaurants just buy it in ready picked. Sure. So we like to do it ourselves. Okay. So a lot of people don't like the orange row, but I actually quite like it. So we so leave alone. And there's the mussel there and the. The poo tube, as we like to call it, we're going to get rid of. Um, I've been around, been working at quite a few different places around London and Australia and stuff. So, um, Christopher's restaurant in Covent Garden. Oh yes. It's an American Grill. I worked at the Tate Britain, Tate Britain um, Rex Whistler restaurant downstairs. Oh right. Um, worked at. I opened a restaurant in Chelsea called Gilmore's. Oh right. Yes, I remember. It's no longer around. Yeah. What's this veggie oil? Yeah, just yeah. veggie oil. It's only really just to coat it because we don't want to um, add any flavour or anything. Obviously, olive oil will be too bitter for us. Sure. So, a tiny bit of mould and sea salt. So I'll oil the scallops uh -huh. and season them, but I won't put any oil in the pan. That will just go directly into the pan. So you want to get a nice dark colour onto the scallops. Probably only take 40 seconds per side to cook. That's it. So that can come out onto the tray. Yeah. This is a crab mayonnaise, so as I said, it's freshly hand picked. And then we just add a bit of our homemade mayonnaise. There we go. Right, this is the uh, parsley and lemon aioli, which I made earlier today. Alright. A few spots of the aioli. In no particular order. Some bacon. Sure. This is the red baby sorrel, which adds a little bit of tang to the dish. It's amazing, actually, how much flavour you get in some of these uh, micro herbs, isn't it? Yeah, I find some of the micro herbs are quite tasteless, and yeah. some of them have a really strong flavour. Yeah, so you have to be careful when you're using them. You don't I'll let you do the honours. Okay. You presumably tasted this 
with the champagne before. I have done. I have. It's the uh, Royal Player Brew. Let me just do it. Wet your glass first. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think it goes really well with the Laurent Perrier. It's quite, you know, the sweetness of the scallops and the dry champagne is quite a good match. Terrific. Thank you. Here. Cheers. Right about scallops. It's the only way to cook them, isn't it? Yeah. 